Hi and welcome. This is video number 302. Uh, in this video, I am going to estimate a reciprocal model in Stata. Uh, you have seen various types of models like uh, linear models, log, lin log linear models, lin log models, log lin models, and today I am going to show uh, reciprocal models and how to estimate reciprocal models using Stata software. Models of the following form are known as reciprocal models and uh, it is of this form where y i is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 times 1 by x i plus u i. In this model y i is the dependent variable, uh, beta 1 is the intercept term, uh, beta 2 is the regression coefficient and uh, here in this model x enters inversely or reciprocally that is why uh, this model is known as a uh, uh, reciprocal model and finally we have the usual error term. Now although this model is non-linear in the variable x because x enters into the variable inversely or reciprocally but the model is linear in beta 1 and uh, beta 2 and is therefore a linear regression model. This model has three features. As x increases indefinitely, the term beta 2 times 1 by x approaches 0 and y approaches the limiting value of beta 1. Therefore, models like above have built in them a limit value that the dependent variable will take when the value of the x variable increases indefinitely. Now, I will show you some data uh, which is cross-sectional data for uh, 64 countries on child mortality and few other variables but we will concentrate on the variable child mortality and uh, per capita GNP and then which I will plot for you so that you can see the relationship between child mortality and uh, uh, per capita GNP. Uh, later on I will show you that as per capita GNP increases one would expect child mortality to decrease because people can afford to spend more on healthcare, assuming all other factors remain constant. But the, re but the relationship is not a straight line one. As per capita GNP increases, initially there is dramatic decrease in child mortality, but, that, but the drop tapers off as per capita GNP uh, continues to increase. So, I will run a regression of child mortality on per capita GNP and the data is uh, for uh, 64 countries. So, let me let me uh, go to Stata and uh, here is Stata and uh, um, I have already opened the file this is child mortality and uh, this is a female risk ratio, this is a per capita GNP and this is the reciprocal of GNP and the reciprocal of GNP means that uh, I have divided 1 by uh, per capita GNP throughout. Uh, so, let me show you the data in the browser here. Now, you see this is child mortality and uh, child mortality rate and uh, this is equal to 128 per thousand. Uh, live birth of uh, age below age 5 up to 5 years of age and the total number of observation is uh, 64 because this data is for 64 countries. The second variable is a uh, female literacy uh, uh, rate or ratio. The third variable is per capita GNP and finally we have the reciprocal of uh, per capita GNP. So, I will run the regression, uh, but before that, before that I will uh, show you the scatter plot of uh, child mortality and uh, per capita GNP and I will show that uh, what happens to the child mortality as uh, per capita GNP increases. So, two way, two way scatter 
C M and per capita G N P and I will yeah you can see initially when the G N P is very low the child mortality rate is very high and as per capita G N P increases the child mortality rate decreases dramatically but then later on uh, the child mortality rate uh, tapers off as per capita GNP increases, uh, continues to increases. So, this is how we can show with the help of a um, uh, reciprocal model. So, you can see this graph, this is the graph of uh, child mortality and this is per capita GNP. So, as per capita GNP increases, initially child mortality rate drops dramatically but then it tapers off as per capita GNP continues to drop. So, now I will regress uh, child mortality on a reciprocal of uh, since in the model uh, the second term is beta 2 into 1 divided by x and in this case it will be uh, 1 divided by per capita GNP. So, I will use RECI because this RECI stands for reciprocal per capita GNP and uh, if I press return, so here are my results. Now, if you look at these results, the total number of observations, the total number of observations are uh, 64, these are 64, the F state value is 52.62 and uh, the significance value of the F state is 0 0.000, R squared is uh, about uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.46 and the adjusted R squared is uh, 0 0.45. The coefficient of the intercept term is 81. 0.82, its standard error is 10.83, its t value is 7.56, its p value is 0 0.000. The coefficient for the reciprocal of uh, per capita G in p is uh, that's equal to 27,266.16 times 1 by per capita G in p this is its uh, standard error, this is its uh, t value and this is its uh, p value and uh, its r square value is uh, 0 0.46 and this means as per capita g in p increases indefinitely child mortality approaches its asymptotic value of about uh, 80, 82 percent 82 deaths per thousand live births as explained the positive value of the coefficient of 1 divided by per capita GNP implies that the rate of change of uh, child mortality with respect to per capita GNP is negative. So that means uh, when per capita GNP increases uh, child mortality uh, decreases. One of the most important applications of uh, such uh, um, scatter plots like I showed you earlier is the celebrated Phillips curve of macroeconomics in which uh, uh, Phillips uh, showed the relationship between a percent rate of uh, change of money wages and the unemployment rate and uh, that curve was negatively sloped and uh, it was just like a a rectangular hyperbola that is the famous uh, Phillips curve. So, the uh, reciprocal the graph of a reciprocal model is more or less like a uh, Phillips curve. So, this is how we apply uh, reciprocal model in econometrics and how can we regress reciprocal model in um, stata. So, as I mentioned this is variable on child mortality rate this is on a female literacy rate. I did not use this 
and this is the per capita GNP, uh, one could have regressed a child mortality and per capita GNP. Uh, but if we use the graph of the um, child mortality and uh, per capita GNP, then that kind of scatter can be well explained by the reciprocal model that I um, estimated here for you. These are the values of the coefficients and their standard errors. These are their T values and uh, here are the T values and uh, here you see the 95 percent confidence interval and here you see the model sum of square or the regression sum of square and uh, below we have residual sum of square. 